Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people. The ExoCares Initiative limited time event kicked off an Astroneer today, so let's take a quick dive into what we can find. The event itself has been given a bit of a refresh. Some things have stayed the same as you can still package up small and medium debris and attach them to the Exo Request platform for event points. The same goes for scrap bundles. The refresh comes in how scrap nuggets tie into the event and a new printable item. In previous years, you could attach scrap nuggets or even entire medium canisters full of scrap to the Exo Request platform. That is no longer possible. Not only is there no attachment slot for storage, scrap nuggets themselves cannot be attached to the rocket. Instead, this new event item can be printed on the small printer from one organic and one scrap. When you first load into a save, you will be greeted with a notification that the event is active. You can start the event by clicking the big green button on the Exo Request platform. Once you've done that, head to a mission log on a landing pad to claim your rewards of 500 bytes and a lovely little metallic flower thingy. Actually, a little wumpus told me that the thingy is called Hana, and I guess I can see how those characters spell that out. But the name Hana means flower, so it checks out. With the event started, you can begin collecting and packaging debris, gathering scrap bundles, or begin creating the pot of flowers on your small printer. Of course, all the new tappables along with the tapper can come in handy if you want to automate the event somewhat. Each piece of debris in a scrap bundle is worth 5 event points, with a full bundle worth 25. The Hana flower is worth 50 event points, small package debris is worth 100, and medium package debris is worth 300. You will unlock the Captain's Coif Hat for 1,500 event points, the Eco Near Palette for 4,200 points, and the Envision Visor for 14,000 event points. And this is what those cosmetics look like. When the event went live earlier today, there was a bit of a configuration error on the back end, preventing the first two cosmetics from unlocking. If you already completed the event but did not receive all of the cosmetics, try heading back into the game because it looks like the issue has been resolved. These are nice looking cosmetics though. There is absolutely no world, solar system, galaxy, universe, or simulation instance where anyone should ever be walking around with a mullet. There are four care package milestones along the way and once you have unlocked everything, you can continue receiving care packages every 2,000 points. The care packages themselves are mostly the standard fare of resources, packagers, and dynamite, though my first care package did include a tractor and two trailers. My final care package also included one of the floppy disk circuit board thingies we saw a couple of weeks ago in the anniversary event, though I'm guessing there is an entirely new set of these to collect since the message on this one is different than the ones I received during the anniversary event. There's also an apostrophe after the one out of five, making it fairly easy to tell the difference between each one. And Editor Brandon here, while trying to help resolve the cosmetics issue earlier, I sent off a few more rockets full of event items and reached the next care package. Sadly, I didn't get two out of five, instead I received three of five. I really hope I get the other three before they start repeating again. There have been a lot of questions about what these floppy disk things are used for. While there have been no clear details, members of System Era have commented on both Discord and in Astroneer live streams that we should hold on to them for something that is still yet to come. How many of each one we should have is anyone's guess, but it'd probably be a good idea to gather a full set. Let's just hope they arrive in order this time instead of receiving 89 number twos in a row. You might think that's the end of the event, but it isn't. Similar to the original Real World Charity tie-in of the very first Project Cheer delivery event several years ago, this year's Exo Cares event has a really cool charity incentive that we, as the Astroneer community, can help make happen. System Era has challenged us to collectively plant 10 million trees in our saves. If we do, they will donate $5,000 to Conservation Northwest, a nonprofit organization working to preserve wildlands, connect habitats, and restore wildlife in the Pacific Northwest. Personally, I love these charity tie-ins. As a person of limited means, I cannot always give to support worthy charities at the level I would like to. 
But with initiatives like this, I can simply play a video game and help raise money for an organization that is doing good work to make our world a better place. Just be careful on how many trees you plant in your save. Planting large numbers of trees in the same area of a save will likely cause that save to become, as System Era says, unstable. If you really want to go nuts and plant all 10 million trees yourself, you should probably make a brand new save that you aren't all that attached to. Keep an eye on the official Astroneer Discord along with Astroneer social media accounts to follow the progress on this community goal. And that's it. This year in Astroneer is already shaping up to be a great one. We have already had two limited time events and a small update introducing the Dapper and Dappables and the small summer update along with the large autumn expansion are still to come. But I'd love to know your thoughts on the ExoCares Initiative limited time event in Astroneer. Are you going to head out and clean the planets of all their debris? Or are you going to hunker down and feed organic and scrap to an efficient automation setup to knock it all out? Let me know in the comments down below or just leave an emoji letting me know how you feel about the event. By the way, if you're watching this video the day it goes live, I have a special 9-hour live stream on Tuesday the 16th to celebrate the 9-year anniversary of my YouTube channel. I'll be playing Astroneer to complete this limited time event on my Game Pass copy of the game, along with Timberborn and maybe one or two other games. It'll kick off at 3pm Central US time and run until midnight. I hope you'll drop by the stream to help me celebrate 9 years of being on YouTube. And with that, until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.